Hi all, welcome at another MR Explained. I am Kelly Ducker, I'm the product manager of MR at Metis. Today I will be telling you about our new AutoQ module. This will provide you T1 maps, um, which are also motion uh, with motion correction. So let's go to the program so I can show you what it entails. So here in our series browser, if we click on the patient, we will see the different series in there. If we click on the T1 and select our outer queue button, we can go to a new algorithm that has been created, um, the T1 motion corrected map. If we click on that, it will start with running the algorithm. First of all, it will calculate from this series the motion corrected series and from there on it will create a T1 map. Uh, besides the T1 map, it will also generate an R square map. So we can see how well the um, map is actually. Um, here up front, we can already see that the algorithm is running. And then in the outer queue status here at the top, we can see how far along it is. What we can see actually it's almost there. There we go. We'll go back to the browser and here we see that indeed first the motion corrected series has been created and based upon that the T1 map and the R square map. Let's load those four series into MetaSuite so I can show you the differences in there. So this is the original series and this is the derived one so with motion correction. So you can already see a bit of differences in there. And from this series, the T1 map has been created, which you can see in here, and also the R square map is created. Now in this T1 map, when we double click, we get a larger view. We can also even zoom in and, um, even more. Uh, if we do, an, since these pixels all have the, a T1 value, if we make an area measurement in here, or select the area measurement and we can let's call it just area one and by default it will provide you the area but in this case the signal intensity of those pixels will provide you the t1 value so the average or the mean signal intensity within this area will provide you the average t1 value it will also provide you with the standard deviation and uh, minimum and maximum T1 value in this region. So no need to open any additional applications from here. You can already get the T1 values. But if you do would like to get the T1 values for different segments, you can still open it as usual with the maps in uh, the different applications like QMAS or QMAP. Thank you all for watching. I hope this has been helpful for you and I hope that I will see you next time as well. Uh, please subscribe to our LinkedIn channel if you haven't done already and hope to see you soon. Bye.